The late Yogi Berra once said, that's too coincidental to be a coincidence. Enter Drew Jackson. The Dodgers prospect may don Dodger blue today, but his first love was for the San Francisco Giants. Yeah, I was a diehard Giants fan growing up, watching Barry hitting all those home runs, and uh, yeah, I hated the Dodgers when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, we were a baseball family, season ticket holders of the Giants, um, so they started going and they were tykes. Growing up 15 minutes from Cal in the East Bay, Drew also wore blue, accompanied by yellow. Blue and gold ran in my family. If you look at young pictures of me, I always had a Cal shirt on. Either that or a giant shirt on. He was the little kid who literally wore cow clothes from day one. But then in high school, you know, having a big brother who did so well and, you know, got a scholarship into Cal and then got drafted by the Cubs, he really wanted to, to be his own person. So I started to see the potential of him possibly going somewhere else. It was funny, I actually um, got offered from Cal on a Monday and took a visit there and then the next day I went to Stanford and had a visit and I got offered that day and it was funny because on Monday I was like oh I'm for sure gonna go to Cal like this is my place but my dad's like let's go to Stanford let's see how you like it and I went and I fell in love with it and when they offered I was like I can't turn this down. We got back in the car and he just laughed and said mom how could I ever say no to this? What do you think the final decision was to, to push you to go to Stanford? Uh, you know, just doing something different. My, my brother played baseball at Cal, you know, he um, kind of made a nice track for me to follow, um, especially since he was already in pro ball uh, when I was leaving high school. So um, part of it was um, I wanted to kind of do my own thing, um, but at the same time, I'd heard great things about Stanford. The decision to choose Stanford was huge, but even that could not compare to what came next, a trade. The Mariners sent the lifelong Giants fanatic to LA. California. At first, I was I was baffled. Um, I was just I was not expecting it. Once it settled in, I was actually really excited because I heard only good things about the Dodgers organization, uh, the way they treat their players, their development. So, um, yeah, after a few minutes of letting it sick in, or maybe a few hours, uh, and saying goodbye to old teammates, um, I was actually really excited to be with the Dodgers. Jackson spent the majority of his first L.A. season in high A with the Quakes, and that Dodger blue feels right at home. You're a proud mom. You, you, you do it. You don those colors, and I couldn't be prouder to put on the blue and white. I like wearing it down to the coffee shop and Aranda and having people look at me like I'm evil. Katie and I have all just finished coming back on Southwest from spring training. It was an all flight with all A's fans and Giants fans, and I remember people walking down the get going to their seats, looking over at me like I was some sort of parasite. But uh, I kind of enjoy that. <laughs> My sister is a huge Giants fan, so she says she'll root for me, but not the Dodgers. Um, along with all my high school buddies who are like diehard Giants fans, so um, they want me to take down the system from inside. That's what they said, um, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> On July 5th, that fandom was put to a test. Jackson faced San Francisco Giant ace Madison Bumgarner in his first rehab appearance. And he took him deep. First at bat, he walked me on four pitches, uh, so I hadn't seen a strike yet. And uh, he threw a fastball, like, glowing in, and I just reacted and I got it. You know, it was, it was one of those ones where, you know, just trying to stay simple, just you know, barrel something up against Mad Bum, and luckily I got up in the air and it carried out to left. It hit me around uh, when I was rounding second base. Probably I was like, wow, I just hit it off Mad Bum. Uh, but it's it's funny because you. You're facing uh, like mad bum in your head, but when you're up at the plate, you know, it's just another pitcher and that's how you got to treat it. Fast forward to three and a half weeks later on August 1st, Drew Jackson got the call to double A Tulsa, his next step as a future Dodger. It's kind of funny like coincidence that it's turned out like this uh, and everyone jokes about it, but um, they all got my back. The Los Angeles Dodgers must smile at a Giants fan playing for their team in at least one regard. For every level Drew Jackson climbs, another San Francisco hat turns blue and white.